I think the biggest thing that's going to jump out to people here in game number one of 2017 for Nebraska is just the overall efficiency level of this offense with Tanner Lee. I think Tanner Lee is going to complete around 65% or more of his passes at times this year, and I think that efficiency is just going to give things a much different feel and a different look in 2017. Nebraska handed out 16 black shirts here this week on Monday as they began game preparations. Is that too many? I think it's not. I think when you look at it, Nebraska really is going to have 16 guys that play starting type roles in this game. I think Khalil Davis, even though he's not a starter, is going to play a ton. I think Muhammad Berry and Luke Gifford are going to have a ton of snaps in this game. And I think all those guys in the secondary as well that aren't listed as number ones are going to really take on starting roles. And that's really what the point of the black shirt it is. Following Nebraska's bowl game loss to Tennessee, things were at an all time low for starting left tackle Nick Gates as he completely got exposed by Tennessee's Derek Barnett. Well, Gates is not going to have a lot of time to think about that past performance because he's going to see another player equally as talented potentially in Javon Rollin Jones from Arkansas State. He has a chance to become the NCAA's all time leading sack leader after this season, and Gates is going to have his work cut out for him here on Saturday. And finally, season openers are sometimes hard to get a read on. I think for Nebraska, they've got a lot of advantages going into this game. Bob Diaco's defense has not been seen on film, at least the 3-4 portion of it. Tanner Lee hasn't played a football game in 651 days, so we don't know what this offense is going to look like with him under center. And I think with those uh, two variables, Nebraska has a huge edge going into this game, especially early on when Arkansas State's going to be in that adjustment mode in the first half. With the Huskers here in Lincoln. I'm Sean Callahan of HuskerOnline.com for KTV News Watch 7 Sports.